All right, Russ, so Orlando had been playing some of their best basketball of the year, won eight and nine games. Uh, what did you guys establish early here as you got the upper hand? Uh, just pace. We knew we had a rebound tonight. Uh, did a better job of that. Uh, create some pace. Create some rhythm shots. Well, I thought we did a good job of that tonight. Rebounding, of course, part of your triple-double, Russ, with the 13 assists. So what was working on that side of the court against their defense? Uh, just making plays. Um, something I'm accustomed to. Uh, when I had the ball in my hand, I got a responsibility to make guys better, and um, I take pride in that. What's been the challenge playing without Anthony Davis? At this point, still not sure when he's going to come back. What have you and LeBron tried to take on there? Uh, I mean, can't replace Anthony Davis. Uh, we know that. As a team collective, we got to make sure we come together and play the right way and try to get some wins until we hold it down until he comes back. So this is a back to back, uh, back to back. Of course, you go to Miami next. Your experience in your career. What's the key in a back to back setting? Um, start your preparation now. Game in to get your mind ready for tomorrow. Miami, tough team and a uh, tough place to play. So we got to be ready to go. Last one for you on tonight, uh, Russ. Had a lot of guys step up. Thomas Bryant in the starting lineup. Troy Brown comes in, hits some threes. Austin doing his usual stuff. Uh, what did you see from the rest of the guys out there? Uh, just their confidence, man. Their confidence is big throughout the season. It'll be ups and downs, but each night. As leaders of this team, you got to make sure we instill confidence in other guys, and to see them do well always brings a smile on my face, and I'm happy that you know they had a good game tonight. All right, we appreciate it, Russ.